Isn't it kind of late to be washing your hair? I had one mandatory at 9 a.m. this morning, and now I'm spending the afternoon tidying up. Why? No reason. Okay then, I'm off to acting exercise. You seem to be in a rush. I promise I won't touch any of your pinks. What? Turn out the cabin. What the hell? Oh my gosh, Harper! Did you forget to tell me you were going out with Carter? Hang out, let me make those words clear. Hang out, would you like me to spell it? Well, for your hangout, I'm gonna make sure this place looks perfect, if you say so. Wait, what? You need a fancy dress. Anna! Right, well, don't, I'm not like wedding, I'm not letting you wear sweatpants, so don't even think about opening up that door without me approving your outfit first. Fine, fine. Aren't you a little prep for just staying alone in the cabin tonight? I'm doing a bit of hink out tonight. Let me guess, you just want me to leave so you and Anna can watch the Hunger Games. No, it's Carter. Wait, what? Why did you not tell me he asked you out? It's a hangout, not a date. Same thing in my eyes. Anyway, I'm out of here. Do I look slick? Sure. What do you feel like watching? Hmm. Anything. That's good. In that case, I will turn off my part Aries. Um, a movie. I don't think we'll have enough time for eight seasons of a show. True. We could watch a Disney classic. My mother has an addiction to those. What about Titanic? That's a quality film. Let's do it. Why do I mess everything up? First I lost her, now I'm gonna lose Harper, and then Joyce and Bella aren't gonna want me anymore before I know it. Great, now you're listening to me talk to myself. I was actually just walking by. Acting ended and I took the longer route to avoid invading hangout. Did everyone know about this except me, her supposed best friend? I found out by accident. Well, if you know everything, tell me the truth. Were you two hanging out in Kentucky for these past few days? Yes, but well, please don't tell Amber and Tara I was there for the past two weeks. You see, she can't even, she doesn't even talk to me anymore. She's too afraid to even tell me that she hangs out with you. No offense, but you pretty much hate me. So I'm the bad guy here. I'm not the one who the minute daddy died started ditching her best friend for a bunch of twits and then started bullying her supposed best friend. Anna, no. Don't say anything, Katrina. It's clear how you feel. Did I do bad things? Yes and losing someone doesn't excuse it. But to be clear, I didn't leave you because of daddy problems. It's because when I needed you the most, you hanged out with others. You didn't come to me, ever. We were eight, I thought you needed alone time. I didn't know what grief was, I had never gone through it. But the thing that hurt me the most is that I seem so low on the totem pole, it seemed blurry from up here. So I moved on. And I talk to the advanced answers, and, mo and though most of them do suck, I don't regret a bit giving you up. Well, that was a good movie. You seemed very emotional for some scenes. Would you be flabbergasted if I said I've never seen Titanic? Well, that's offensive. Sorry to interrupt, class ended earlier than I thought. One sec. Is everything okay? 
Don't worry about me. Hangouts only last so long. A five minute conversation won't be the end of the world. It's nothing you need to worry about. Alright, Carter, make way on the bed. Anna is joining us. I am? Yep, you are. And we managed to get for the entire Titanic movie, so what should we watch next? Preferably something Anna has not seen before. Well, have you watched Star Wars? I have no interest in watching it. It used to play the dentist. Understandable. As the Knights? No. Well, that's an H2 classic, so I'm forcing you to watch it. Well, what's it about? Well, it's about this girl named Melita who goes off to a boarding school called Aspen. What are you doing here this late? I was looking for Joyce and Bella. I just wanted to talk to them. They went to some bonfire. I'll leave them. You can stay if you want, Hurricane. Tara's also one, so I could use a bit of noise. Since when do you want to be in the same room as me? Since I like to have company once in a while. Now, Spill, why are you here this late? Why should I tell you? Since we've been going to the same dance place since we were five. Just mainly Harper and Anna problems. What about them? Me and Anna were friends a long time ago, but we screwed it up so we moved on, and now the same thing's happening with Harper. Anna has been acting really strange lately. Like? She doesn't really hang out with me and Tara anymore. Tara's too dumb to notice, but obviously she spent the last week in Kentucky with Har Harper. We could do a deal. What kind of deal? If Anna ditches you and Harper ditches me, we have to promise to stop causing conflict between each other. Why? Because I think we both know that the two are one of our friendships together. Deal. Just call it frenemies. Works for me.